welcome back to my channel it is your girl essence of Shea skis la la yeah let's get started how are you guys doing how are you guys feeling how are you guys living i hope everything is well i hope you guys are enjoying my comeback to the youtube world i've been gone but obviously i have not been forgotten because you guys missed me and i missed y'all too in this video i will be talking about my top fave carrier oils most of these oils not all of them but most of them with a few others that i did not list are in my covet oil if you guys don't know i have um a hair care line i am currently selling two products off of that is my covet oil and my lavender hair spritz the link will be in the description box below a lot of you guys have already purchased it and said that you guys love it so if you have any questions about what people think just ask them in the description box i mean in the comment section below and i'm pretty sure somebody is going to tell you the real deal holy feel so in my last video i did like two weeks ago i did a video just talking about my fave essential oils for locks and uh, the difference between essential oils and carrier oils one is essential oils are highly concentrated and have to be diluted they cannot be on their own i mean they can be because people use them by themselves with like uh, diffusers and stuff like that but like to just use on your scalp i feel like that will burn your scalp so we need um a carrier oil to mix into that and essential oils come from the most potent part of the plant so that makes it the most strongest so then we have carrier oils which carrier oils are true the truest form of an oil and it comes from the fattiest part of a plant and that's why people use it more for skin care and hair they use it to cook like olive oil and coconut oil even avocado oil and sunflower oil they use oils to do everything boy so yeah we usually use um the two together uh do an amazing punch for the hair so that's why i did a separate video as to why as to which essential oils were my favorite and what i felt worked best with locks um a lot of people agreed a lot of people disagree which that's great because i like that conversation because all in all you guys already know on this channel i talk about things that work for me not everything that works for me works for the masses and that's why we have the conversation in the description box below so in this video i will be talking about my favorite carrier oils and um I didn't mention everything because they will be here all day but these are the ones that I think of on the top of my head I wrote my notes down because y'all know I steady going off and I'm rambling so let's get started first oil I would say is my fave Jamaican castor oil yes this oil is a little strong but it does help with dandruff it does prevent uh, dryness it helps with thickness and it also promotes the healthy pH balance in your scalp. Coconut oil, either you hate it or you love it, but it helps to promote protein in the scalp and in the hair. With me, I can't really use coconut oil because it kind of irritates the hair. But a lot of people who are protein deficient in their hair use coconut oil because it helps it. Also with coconut oil, it seeps into the hair and the scalp. It doesn't sit on top of the hair, which causes it to be all greasy and ucky looking. So I would say, and it's really lightweight. It's not heavy either. Amla oil is an oil that you can find in a lot of hair products, including my covet oil that promotes hair growth and prevents hair loss um it aids in scalp and prevents buildup and it's, it's another oil that's very lightweight grapeseed oil is the goat for my lock journey because it pre prevents frizz locks in moisture if you have a lot of shedding that helps with the shedding as well hair loss and it's great for damaged hair 
Grapeseed oil is one of the main characteristics in my covet oil. Jojoba oil is another favorite. Not only do I use this to take my makeup off, but it is another staple of mine that is really lightweight. It helps with hair loss. And this can be used as a good sealant. It won't necessarily seep into the hair like say like a coconut oil or something like that but it is good when you use for instance if you want to use my lavender hair spritz uh, which is a water soluble you can use the oil on top of that to just seal in the moisture I love macadamia oil because it prevents frizz and breakage Avocado oil is high in biotin which helps strengthen the hair follicles which in turn helps your hair grow and this is another oil that does not sit on top of the hair and just leaves it all greasy but it does soak into the hair which I love. Neem seed oil is another oil that I have in my covet oil. This oil is actually really good and slept on because, because it protects your scalp from any future problems it may have like dandruff or burns or anything like that. I love it. Argan oil boosts hair reproduction, which aids in hair growth. Cell reproduction equals hair growth. <laughs> this is known in the community as the gold of oils. It's the mother of oils. It's what you want in your collection. It also produces shine and luster of your locks. Hemp oil is packed in protein helps with moisture of the locks and helps to rebuild any damaged hair that you have in your locks or whatever may be causing shedding or whatever it is. Flaxseed oil is packed with omega-3s and fatty acids. That's why a lot of people use flaxseed gel. <laughs> Biotin, vitamin C, helps with uh, like dandruff and eczema. And it helps produce a lot of sebum for the scalp. If you don't know what sebum is, it's the natural oils that are created on your scalp. So if you're really, if you re have really oily scalp, flaxseed oil is probably not what you want to deal with. Sweet almond oil is another oil that's in my covet, um, my covet oil. This promotes softness of the hair and it also is lightweight and it smells divine. Look at me talking about divine. <laughs> New apartment and I think I'm all uppity now. Who, who do I think I am, eh? You can't tell me nothing. Olive oil is packed with a lot of fatty acids. And the reason why I used, I said this one last is because this is a good staple for me as well because I color treat my hair a lot. And olive oil is good for that because it helps seal in moisture and just helps strengthen the hair. Olive oil is another one of those goat um, oils that people use with locks, without locks, whatever it is, because it's good for deep conditionings. It's good for frying my chicken. It's good for taking my makeup off. We are talking about hair shade. Get it together, boo. Well, these are my top favorite oils. I'm sure there's a plethora of other ones I use, I'm sure of, because I use them in my covet oil. The key is to go through all these oils and see which one best fits you. And don't come for me, Shay. I mean, Shay, why Shay? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel leave in the comment box below what oils you think that i missed out or that's not on the list that you use on a regular basis as well and i can't wait to talk to you guys down there because i missed you see you later tiger lilies toodles crash course let me have the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with the curve